In this video, we're gonna take the mid-engine Chevy Corvette C8 and redesign it into a front-engine Chevy Corvette C8. Alright, so we want to make a C8 Corvette, but make it into a front engine version. So what exactly needs to happen in the design of a car if we turn it from a mid-engine or a rear-engine car into a front engine car? Well, the most logical thing the, that we come up with when we think about this is that we need to move, the greenhouse needs to be moved back because we're gonna cover the space in which the rear-engine car sits because the rear engine is gonna pop into the front and be in front of the passengers, which means that the passengers are going to move backwards to create this space in front. And I wanna give you two examples here, pretty much two extreme examples, which is very cool to think about and to look at, to analyze when it comes to this. So what needs to happen to the design here when we're making this big of a change to the design? So this is of course the beautiful looking Mercedes SLS AMG, to me one of the coolest looking cruisers, I would say, like a continental cruiser, very comfortable and very good looking. But look at this, what I want you to focus on here is the position of the A-pillar and the distance from the A-pillar to the front axle. So here we have the A-pillar right here. And let's make a line down to the ground like that. Then we have the front axle right here. Let's make another line down like that. And this is the distance we have between those two points. So think about that. This is almost in the middle of the entire length of the car. That's kind of interesting to think about that the, the half of the mass of the car or the length of the car is dedicated in this case to be the space for the engine. So think about this if we're moving this engine to the rear. What exactly needs to happen? In this case, there is no way that we can move it just as is and put it here because there's there's no space for it to, to be there. So what we need to do here is move the greenhouse, this, this part right here, we need to move that, slide that forward, right? So the other example that I have for you here is the Lamborghini Huracan. And just look at the difference here when it comes to this length or this distance that I was talking about from the A-pillar to the center of the front axle. It's quite a big difference compared to the SLS AMG. So here is the front, the A pillar right here on the Huracan. And let's make the same thing here down there. And this is the front axle. Let's make the same line right there. So this is the tiny distance that we have when the engine sits in the middle of the car. And it all makes sense because it doesn't have to have this long hood in the front in order for the engine to sit there. Because in this case, we have the engine down here. So this means that pretty much this distance right here that's in the front engine car, that needs to happen behind the passengers in a mid engine car or a rear engine car to give it the same space as you have in the front engine car. So now let's have a look at the C8 Corvette here in a side view and see what needs to be done to this in order to make this change that we just talked about. So let's look at this in the same way that we just looked at the Mercedes SLS AMG and the Lamborghini Huracan. We have the A-pillar right here, and let's make another line like this, and then we have the front axle right here, and this would be the distance between the two. It's not as extreme as the Lamborghini because it doesn't have that typical chiseled Lamborghini line. If you look at a Lamborghini from a side view, it's pretty much any Lamborghini except for the Urus, which of course it's front engine, it, all, it, it almost has one single line going from the hood up to the windshield. It's pretty much not any dip, you don't have any dip here in Lamborghinis. It's very extreme chiseled shape and in this case, in the C8, they decided to go easy on the, on the chiselness of the mid-engine car and create this curvature right here before it goes into the windshield here. So we have this angle here which doesn't exist on Lamborghinis. Typically, so what we need to do here is take this greenhouse, this part, and move it this way back here so that we have almost the A-pillar starting almost in the middle of the car, somewhere around here, and make the exact same shape that we have right now, but just move it back this way. And this, of course, creates a lot more space for the front engine to be placed here, because right now we have it right here, and we wanna move it to this <laughs> spot right there, 
And then of course we're gonna have it ending here in some cool duck tail, or maybe I'm gonna use the, the high spoiler that comes with the CH Corvette. I, re I kinda like that, it just looks like it's broken sometimes because it's angled like this in the middle, it goes down, so I wanna have it more up. That's just details that we're gonna go into later in this video. But that's kind of the philosophy behind this change, and I'm not gonna use a side view for this change because to me that's kind of a little bit too easy. All I gotta do is just copy this and slide it back and just add some, some photoshopping in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the CH Corvette but in a slight, I think probably front view and that creates more of a challenge and I'm always up for a challenge to try to get this right. So with that said, let's get in to the actual redesign of the C8 and let's see how this transformation from mid-engine to front engine is going to turn out. Alright, so here we are inside of Photoshop, of course, and we're going to start by copying the greenhouse and try to move it back and see how that is going to turn up first. Because when you do changes like this, you want to get the big changes done quickly and get them over with fast. Because from there, you get an idea of the proportions of the car and then you can go into details and kind of make everything, stitch everything together to make it look like an actual real car and not some Photoshop madness. So generally what I think about the C8 Corvette, when it first came out, I thought it looked very complex, too complex. I've done a talk on the C8 Corvette and then I did the front redesign as well, which I'm gonna link down in the description if you wanna go and check that out. So what I think about the C8 Corvette is that it looks like there was five designers at Chevy who, uh, all had a different idea. So the management didn't want to disappoint any of them. So they decided to pick the side of one designer and then we picked the front of one, then the rear of another designer and the roof and greenhouse of a fourth one. And then the, the fifth one could be responsible for the side mirrors or something like that. And what that creates is just a mixture of different styles, lines going everywhere. And it just felt too much. It felt like it was trying too hard to be something that it really doesn't need to be. So what I wanna do in this redesign, I want to of course respect the original design and the idea with the C8. So what I mean by that is I want to respect the graphics and the graphical layouts of the front end, for example. I'm not gonna to touch that because that has nothing to do with switching from a mid-engine to your front engine. But what I do want to do though is to clean up the side. I think the side on the C8 Corvette is, is is the part where it just gets too messy with this blade intake and then you have complex lines in the bottom of the car. So what I want to do, just clean it up and bring back the traditional GT lines of the Corvette without trying too hard. It's a Corvette. We know what it is. It doesn't need to have these extra lines and a lot of styling cues just for the sake of styling. So I was talking about the wing in the intro here and the wing to me is interesting. It looks like it's it's dipping in in a weird way. It's concave, it's not convex, which I'm used to seeing on cars like this. I want a convex rear spoiler for this design. To me, it just makes the car look a lot sportier and it fits the car better overall. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of C8 and the styling of the car, I have to appreciate applaud Chevy for putting out this car at this price point. It can compete with a lot of exotics and it seems like it's putting out more power than the official Chevy numbers show, which is pretty cool. And I have seen this car in real life and I have to say it does look a lot better when you see it in real life compared to uh, photos. I mean, that's pretty much every single car, but specifically when it comes to the C8, I think seeing it on photos, it can play with some lines in a way that not necessarily is true and it makes a little bit more sense when you see it in real life. It's still a lot of styling lines just for the sake of having those lines there without any function, but it looks better when you see it in real life. So for the rear end here, I wanted to have a almost a Camaro shoulder or a sculpted line which has a continuous curvature to it, much like the Corvette, and that kind of brings back this brand identity of Chevy. And last but not least on this redesign, I decided to make it a little bit wider than stock, so I pretty much wide-bodied the, the C8 Corvette here that gives it more of a planted look 
and of course the wheels need to fit properly inside the wheel wells so I changed that as well and the rear the the mid-engine air intake that we have I just wanted to have some simple air outlet in the front instead because now we have a front engine car that means that the air goes out right behind the front axle instead of going in right in front of the rear axle if in a mid-engine car so that needs to change but still keep it very simple and not over style the side of this car so that's about it for this quick redesign here I just wanted to do this for my own curiosity to see how this would turn out since the Corvette has been front engine all the way up until 2020. So it does make sense to just play around with this and see what it could look like if they decided to go with a front engine in the C8. And I have to say, it looks pretty good. It looks like a Corvette, pretty much. If you want to turn your C8 mid-engine Corvette into a front-engine Corvette, you're going to get a C7 Corvette. And that's about it for this quick redesign here. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please hit the like button. It really means a lot to me, and it means a lot to the YouTube algorithm as well and it gets recommended to more people which is just fantastic and if you're new to the channel browse around to see over 200 redesigns like this that i think you'll enjoy i'm the sketch monkey thanks for staying until the end of the video take care and i will see you in the next one